Guys, unlike Bitcoin, Ethereum is actually in a potentially very, very bullish pattern. And I want to break this down for you right now. Look at that on the one hour time frame. Also just bouncing off the 200 hour moving average right there. This is something really, really significant. And it's actually to do with a very, very long term chart. And to me, this is very, very exciting. Now, the thing is, is we're not doing amazingly, right? Ethereum is still in quite a nasty downtrend. And look, I'm not saying that that's going to change. This is going to be quite difficult for Ethereum to change. However, we are looking up at a potential target of about four thousand dollars and i want to show you how i came to that number and more importantly how we're kind of just on the edge of it you know like if ethereum does drop below the levels that it's at right now it's probably going to lose this chance completely but as it stands right now it is in a potentially very very bullish place so let's break this down let's take a brand new chart actually i'm just going to use this existing chart and i'm just going to delete everything here and all i really or can i use this chart this chart is better uh yeah let me use this chart instead um so you know all i really want to do in this video first of all is just show you uh you know one big wedge that ethereum has been forming in the market for quite some time and it's actually a wedge that i was talking to you guys about before there's two actually there's one that looks a little bit like this uh and actually we can redraw this to actually now look much better in my opinion looking something a little bit like this this is actually going to be one of the focus points of the video so stick around if you're excited for that make sure you smash up the likes as well but that's not what i want to talk to you about right now it's actually that ethereum was in a very bullish uh falling wedge pattern exactly the same as uh bitcoin's patterns really uh but unfortunately it ended up falling out and that pattern looks something a little bit like this depending on how you draw it i actually have it drawn a little bit better already so let me just bring this up for you because this really tells us a lot about how ethereum you know was potentially in a very very bullish place just a short while ago and it fell out of it which is quite uncommon right it's quite uncommon that we use a pattern like this which is generally quite bullish and then we fall out of it especially this type of falling wedge ethereum bitcoin and the like they almost never fail these patterns but unfortunately we did right here however uh you know it's fine if we fall out of it temporarily and come back into it right now which means that we could be back in play of course the primary problem here is that if we just dip down a little bit more we're going to be falling out of this wedge again and so we're definitely not in a good place and i want to make this very clear to you like yes on one side i want to be excited about ethereum because you guys know long term i'm more bullish on ethereum than i am on bitcoin however it's it's right at the edge that's what this video is about is showing you that look there is this bullish pattern but we're right on the edge of losing it so it is what it is. I mean, I, I wish I could tell you that actually this thing might be ready to reverse up right now. But unfortunately, uh, you know, it's in quite a dire place. And you're going to see why uh, in more of this video later on. But the reason that this is a big deal, in my opinion, is that, you know, patterns like this, they generally break to the upside. And the reason for that is, I mean, really what we're seeing is that the market is trending up. And then in some way, it's trending downwards. That's the falling wedge. That's this whole you know these two diagonal green lines that's what they're forming is this downtrend um and then obviously that only forms our step to rising up again so you guys always hear me talking about the staircase analogy it's not even a staircase analogy because it's like you know you'd be stepping on a on a step right here and then you'd, you'd be going up but obviously you know a more uh, normal staircase would be a flat instead of angled lower but the point still stands really what we're getting is that the market moves in the direction of its real trend and then it temporarily reverses and then we continue trading higher and that's how we just you know that that's the that's the typical pattern that we see in nice healthy uptrends and this is just a more extreme version of that that we could be looking at blowing up to the upside and again i've shown you how this has worked out for bitcoin so many times in the past it's actually very predictable and it's very consistent right that's why i was giving so much credit to these ideas here's another one right here uh here's another one right here uh here's another one actually in the inverse direction right here again if you're subscribed to the channel you're going to know all about these you know generally if they're angled upwards here's how you remember it if they're angled upwards they'll generally break down and if they're angled downwards they'll generally break up and the reason for that it's very important to understand the reasoning behind this stuff and that's what i aim to do with you guys on this youtube channel is that uh you know if the market is uh let's say let's take this example this is quite an easy example if the market is in an uptrend and then again it's trending downwards this is just uh you see there's a lot of um buying pressure in the market at these points but there's not you know like the sellers in the market aren't really getting a chance to sell uh they're not you know a lot of people sell when they're scared they don't sell when they're happy with the profits it's just the way that works and so naturally you'll be triggering a little bit of fear on you know big drops like this and then any supply that wants to be exhausted in the market will be exhausted during these kind of patterns again here's 
just a smaller version of the very same thing. I mean, these things, they repeat on large time frames and small time frames, but it's the very same pattern where we're trending upwards, the supply is being exhausted temporarily, and as soon as that supply is exhausted, which is naturally at the very bottom, you only have buying demand back in the market, uh, and so naturally the price boosts upwards again. Um, it also is a demonstration of how selling pressure is kind of waning off. Um, you know, if you're moving down quickly, that tells you there's a lot of selling pressure, but if you're moving down slowly, that represents a real shift in momentum. You'll see this with indicators like the RSI. You know, this is what the RSI is made for. A lot of people don't use it for its primary purpose, but this is the relative strength index. And so it tells us right here, for example, if we look at huge, huge lesson right now. I mean, this is so important. It's off topic, but it's so important in my opinion. Uh, you know, if you look at what's happening, probably... I want to say like up to here, uh, but let's just focus on this gap in between these two red lines right now. You can see the RSI dropping rapidly as the market is dropping, right? And the reason this is happening is it's basically showing us that the market is losing strength. This is the relative strength index. And so if the RSI drops down, it means that the market is losing its relative strength. Now, if we look at what happens when Bitcoin starts kind of, you know, bottoming out and trading sideways and just broadly trending lower, you actually start to see the RSI trending upwards right? Very, very important note, the RSI at its lowest point, um, you know, on this chart, uh, the RSI is at about 25. And the next time Bitcoin falls down to the same level, the RSI isn't even in bearish territory, um, and in oversold territory, that really tells you something, right? It shows us that actually the market was very, very weak here, it had a total absence of strength, and an absence of strength, you have weakness. That's what the RSI shows us. But we're having that selling pressure wane off in the market because it's getting weaker, right? Uh, well, that's not, it's not because it's getting weaker, but because it's getting weaker, we can see that the selling pressure is waning off because we're, we're falling slowly as opposed to falling quickly. And the RSI is showing that as well. We're gaining strength. This is a really, really important pattern. A lot of people don't get this. A lot of people just straight up don't even see it. Uh, and I, that's why I wanted to bring it up with you guys in this video right now, because again, if we bring it back to the Ethereum chart and we take a look at what we were in, this is one of those very bullish patterns. They generally work out very well. And to see that Ethereum could potentially be, uh, you know, trying to get back into it right now is quite exciting. And the way we can measure where this thing could end up going is actually, I've already drawn this for you, so I don't want to draw it again because I might do it wrong. Uh, it's actually on this chart right here where we had our uh, you know, first hit of resistance. This is how we can draw a target going up by $1,000 or more importantly, 29%, uh, showing us that we could potentially be looking at a 29% rally to the upside if we end up breaking up. And this ghost feed actually showing us how that might look. If Ethereum does end up trading to the top of the uh, uh, falling wedge line and getting a breakout, we could be looking at a 29% explosion to the upside. And that would put us at about $3,900, which is what gives me this target. But that's not even what's exciting for me. This in itself isn't particularly strong analysis. What really, really gets me and what really has excited me and almost set a fire underneath me right now is that this pattern that Ethereum's actually been in for quite some time now, this pattern that I showed you earlier on in the video, this is huge, right? This, what really, really what this is showing me right here is that, you know, Ethereum has been finding support of this trend line now for quite some time. And we're just bouncing off it right now. And it depends how you draw it. But I think I mean, this is a good enough line of best fit for it. I don't even necessarily need to draw support, but I can just for argument's sake, I can say that, you know, I'm sorry, resistance, I can say that there's a little bit of resistance right around over here. Um, and really, the reason that this is exciting to me is that this line has held since February of 2021. I mean, that's going back an entire year now. Um, and that's not all. It's the fact that we've managed to test this um, support line at multiple points throughout Ethereum's history over the past year, but they've been spaced out. To me, that's really, really significant, right? If you have a support level that's only tested, you know, on five separate occasions, but it's within the time span of one month, that's not very significant. That doesn't really matter. But if it's effectively standing the test of time where it's spread out across, I mean, from February all the way to July, um, you know, that that's a five month period. That's quite a large time that we're able to use the same support area. I get it. It's been quite a long time now. I mean, we are looking at like plus seven months or even more than that plus eight, nine months, um, you know, now that we're testing it again, but we did find support again here right now, which is 
very, very exciting. I suppose the key problem here is that Bitcoin right now, in my opinion, is not in a good place. I was telling you guys about in the last video, again, those of you who subscribe will know all about this in the last video that, um, you know, we kind of, we lost this area of support. We, we we didn't break up when I thought that we really should. And, um, and you know, that it, it, that's quite important. You know, when the market has a key opportunity to be breaking up and it doesn't take it, and this was a very good opportunity for Bitcoin to break up, I still firmly believe that without any doubt whatsoever. This was a very, very good pattern for for Bitcoin to rise up into the 40k range. Although, of course, there's a lot of resistance here. So I would have most likely expected a rejection and the same overall outcome. Just seeing that we didn't end up seizing that opportunity was bad. It is a sign of weakness. And so I said to you guys in yesterday's video when Bitcoin was trading about a thousand dollars higher or something like that was basically saying that you know I would expect us to come back down to this 36k level which we nearly did uh, but more importantly I think it is potentially looking quite likely now that Bitcoin could be actually dropping down to the bottom of this range at about $33,000 and again that's where the problems come in for Ethereum you see because if Bitcoin is looking like it's in a state like that then I mean it's going to be really difficult for Ethereum to hold these patterns as well that's what really has me quite concerned right now because uh, you know the support for Ethereum is getting higher and higher with this uh, you know, rising wedge line. And by the way, again, this is one of those patterns that macro scale are generally bearish. Like I said, if they're angling upwards, they're usually bearish because what this means is that the market previously was moving up with a lot of strength. Now it's moving up with less strength, indicating that we could actually be waning off and losing that momentum before we drop to the downside. And actually, we can visualize this with the RSI again as well on a larger time frame. If I look at this on the weekly time frame with you guys, take a look at this right here. Very, very clear example of what I just said where previously the RSI was very, very high. Uh, and, and actually we can we can spot some interesting things, right? The RSI when Ethereum hit $1,900 for the first time ever, I believe in February, 2021, the RSI was at a reading of 92. Now we're, uh, we're actually a little bit higher than that. We're, we're about $700 higher than that. So quite a bit. And the RSI is down at 39. That tells us something about how the market previously had a lot of strength right here as we were initially rallying up. But as you can see, we've really slowed down. We're still higher than where we were before, but we've really slowed down. At the end of the day, the RSI relative strength index, this is a momentum indicator. This is what's called a momentum indicator. You know, my problem with people that learn about indicators like this and and not people that learn them, but people that teach them is that they'll teach you that when it's overbought, it's bad. And when it's oversold, it's bad. And, you know, we're probably going to rebound. And it's a very like, um, uh, you know, it's, it's a very primitive, basic understanding of this indicator. And do you know what? That's not even the right word. It's not even primitive because it's straight up false. Like it, it's not even true. Um, you know, really what the RSI means when you start reaching these overbought or oversold territories is that there is an extreme level of relative strength or an extreme absence of strength. Um, you know, that that's really what it means. It doesn't necessarily mean that the market is going to start dropping. The RSI was overbought when Ethereum was at $400 and I was still saying that it's a phenomenal buy. Um, you know, th this is very, very important to keep in mind. I mean, if you were using the RSI right here, you would have sold your Ethereum and we're like six, seven times higher than that price point right now. So it would have been a terrible, terrible idea. Um, you know, the RSI can't be used in that way. But the real way to use the RSI is to understand that this is an indicator that shows us where momentum is on the chart. And it is right now in a very weak place compared to where it was before. I'm just laying the facts out on the table, ladies and gents. Um, you know, if this thing does end up breaking down, you've probably already heard my analysis for this, but I am looking at, uh, you know, I mean, I don't want to get too into this because this video is more of a positive one, to be honest. But <laughs> the problem with Ethereum is that there isn't really any support unless it drops really far down. The real support that I see on this chart is going to be around $300. Look, I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, you know, what I was mentioning to you is that these patterns generally are bearish, but they are generally only bearish in markets that are not crypto markets. Uh, generally, Ethereum and Bitcoin, uh, they actually make these patterns work uh, in their favor and break out to the upside. You know, the way these patterns, what these patterns represent to me, uh, you know, and this generally isn't true in conventional markets, but for crypto, it works out this way. And there's so many examples that I can show you. Um, let me see if I can find a quick one right now. This isn't the best example of what I'm saying, but this is somewhat similar. Uh, no, actually, I can't really use this. Uh, it's it's basically to show you that actually, we, you know, we've formed a lot of patterns like this, which, you know, you would consider if you had a more formal 
Um, here's a perfect example right here, what's happening towards the end of 2020. Uh, take a look at this. This is really going to put it into perspective for you where actually, um, you know, we formed a rising wedge pattern right here, a quite a nasty one, actually, one that really should have broken to the downside in a conventional market. And we got one of the biggest price explosions Ethereum has ever seen, or perhaps the biggest price explosion Ethereum has ever seen, because it went from a high of 660, effectively on its first leg, it doubled, more than doubled, uh, and then went up to four, nearly five thousand, four and a half thousand dollars. So a big, big price explosion coming off what is generally a bearish pattern. Uh, and really, you know, this pattern is just a smaller version of this pattern. So I'm still quite optimistic about this pattern in line with that. And this is the thing is that if we do manage to rise up, that's giving us a new target of being above $5,000. You guys have already seen my videos where I was breaking this stuff down for you. So obviously this is quite exciting in this market. So look, I just wanted to put this stuff on your radar. Uh, the problem that I'm seeing with these patterns again is that if Bitcoin drags the market down, I don't think that Ethereum is going to be able to hold support and I think it's going to fall out of this pattern. If it does fall out of this pattern, look, I mean, if it's temporary, it's fine if it manages to regain this. But right now, this is one of the best things Ethereum has going for it. This is such a healthy correction if it ends here. Uh, right now, obviously, with Bitcoin looking so weak in general terms, I mean, even though I was expecting a pump to 40k, you guys knew my sentiment very clearly that I was only expecting resistance here before potentially coming back down into this range. Uh, you know, it can spell a lot of disaster for Ethereum. Ethereum right now, even against Bitcoin, is up by quite a bit. Uh, but look at that. I literally said this yesterday, uh, that this is my resistance line for Ethereum. And my God, it is working out so so nicely. Those of you who've been following me will know how well we've been playing this market on Ethereum. Uh, those of you inside of VIP will have seen me pulling that off. You can join it by following these steps on screen right here. If you want more free content from me, by the way, just click on the first link in the description down below, and that will take you to my free Four Flies Gold channel, where I give you even more analysis around the clock for free, pinged straight to your phone. So definitely check that out. Uh, but yeah, Ethereum finding resistance against Bitcoin right now. No surprises here, ladies and gents. It found support at my support line. I bought my Ethereum over here, took some profits over here. Uh, now it's right back at resistance. I mean, it's moving really, really nicely. But naturally, if it's just found resistance and Bitcoin is potentially starting to drop again right now, I mean, where does that put Ethereum? You know what I mean? It's quite a nasty, nasty position for Ethereum to potentially be in. And again, it doesn't have much room to drop before it loses the support level. I mean, you know, it's it's literally got until about $2,430, um, you know, right around over here. Uh, and, and if it loses this, then yeah, I mean, you know, we could be looking at potentially something quite catastrophic. Not to say that we can't fake out. I mean, Ethereum has faked out below this line quite a few times. We've got two instances right here, another two here, and maybe three or four very recently so you know it can absolutely dip below and recover back up very quickly but if that doesn't happen then you know we are losing one of the most bullish things on this chart right now so just wanted to put this on your radar right now as we're going through it uh, if you guys find these videos useful you know exactly what to do smash up the likes subscribe tick the bell do all that good stuff i'm gonna have to get going right now but uh that was me for this video i'm actually going to pretend most likely i think i'm going to be doing a live stream later on tonight for bitcoin i don't know yet if it's going to be a video or a live stream it depends on the market but whatever it is do make sure that you are subscribed so that you don't miss out on it and of course if you want to jump inside of vip these are the steps on screen if you want to join bybit this is the only exchange that i've been using pretty much for the past couple of years uh, then check it out using the link in the description down below and you're going to get some free cash when you sign up to bybit using my link in the description down below see you all in the next one Bye bye